Dude, that looks like a human skull. My name is Bam, Bam Lawrence. I'm gonna rock you at least once a week. My name is Bam, Bam Lawrence. <laughs> right now we are in Rutland, Massachusetts, and behind me is the remnants of an abandoned prison camp. So this prison camp was built in 1903 and it was used to hold inmates with just minor offenses. They weren't like hardened criminals or anything. This used to be farmland as far as the eye could see. They used to grow crops and raise cattle and chickens out here. One thing that's crazy about this place is a lot of the prisoners here actually died from tuberculosis, which eventually led to them building an actual hospital here on the property. When they built this place, they didn't realize that this was actually where the runoff for the local town water supply would come, which led to the land being unusable to grow crops. Which which pretty much led to this place being abandoned in 1934. Since then, people have reported unexplained noises and ghostly figures wandering the property. Now it's our turn to wander the property, so let's go explore the abandoned prison camp in Rutland, Massachusetts. All right, so we just found where the cow barn would have been. So this would have been pretty much the dairy area. As you can see, doesn't look like much of a cow barn right now. It looks like just a wasteland. All of these crooked pathways and stuff. So right here through the woods is the remnants of an old silo. As you can see, it's a circular structure here in the ground. That's where a giant silo would have been. It would have stood right up here, but as you can see, it's, it's no longer here. There's actually two. So there's one here, and then there's another one right here. You can't really see it because the moss is just so grown over it that it just kind of blends in. Dude, did we just come across a murder? That's creepy. Is that like old though? Where'd you find that? Just sitting on the ground. Are you serious? Yeah. Probably from the hunters. Yeah, yeah pro hunting. you're probably right. Now we're headed over to the warden's house. And this is actually the haunted area of this place. This place is haunted by the warden's wife apparently. So the warden's house would have been right here. This is his pathway to get right up into his house. This would have been his front steps right here. Man, this is creepy. Walking up the warden's front steps. This would have been the warden's house right here. Here's the foundation, or what's left of it. Right now, I'm pretty much standing in what would have been his doorway. As you can see, if I lean back, that's the warden's basement behind me. You hear that? That's like a door opening. No, Wait, like what? That. Are you being serious? I just heard that too. That's like a door opening. That's that's like a door right. opening. No, wait, 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 wait. It's literally right there. No, what? You heard a door <laughs> open? It made that squeaking sound like a creaky door opening. I am standing in the front doorway, so hearing a door creak would make sense. And this place is haunted by the warden's wife. I'm pretty spooked right now. I got, I got goosebumps. It also is really cold out, so that might be the reason too, but I'm pretty spooked. If we can step over all these bricks right here, we'll be in the warden's basement. This is so creepy. Whoa, a ghost of a lady! You can really see how old this place is just by the architecture here. Built out of stones and concrete. Here's one quick overview of what the warden's basement was. It was all right here. And then obviously the top floor of his house would have been up here. Probably had a second story house. So right now we're walking up to the old pump house. Some abandoned ruins of the pump house right here. The water is, is just through the trees over there. So this would have been the pump house for the water. I'm just trying not to slip going down here because it is all wet. So the river must have came like right through here. The okay, river doesn't right go ground, through right? it. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. The river probably doesn't go through it, but... But they pump it, like... This like they pump it out of the river? Yes, they stored it. They got the water in here for, like, like crops and stuff. So this is pretty much just an old abandoned pump house. Oh, Stanley, you want to go in the water again? Look at that. Want to go fall in that muck? <laughs> want to go in there again? Come on, take a dip. Those are the shoes, man. Take a dip in the water. <laughs> Doesn't that water look good? It looks mighty fine for taking the spill in. Oh, I just have to 
say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So yeah, not much to see here in the old abandoned pump house, but th this is pretty much just it. Um, I imagine the doorway would have been right there, probably to get in the pump house. This graffiti right here reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I don't know why, I guess the color scheme probably. So this area is off the beaten path a little bit. You gotta walk through the forest moon of Endor. But right now we're gonna head towards the old tuberculosis hospital, or what's left of it at least. Oh man, yo. This is what's left of the hospital right here. This looks so sick. I just love like the ruins, like how it just looks like a straight up like whole building, like that was just demolished. That's so cool. So this would have been one end of the hospital. Oh man, let's go in there and go check it out. Hope we don't break any stones. I like to try to preserve places and like not break them and stuff, you know? But places like this, I mean, there's really no telling what's gonna happen if you step on the wrong stone. Let's jump down in here into the old tuberculosis hospital. Hopefully we don't get tuberculosis. It's really some treacherous walking. But look at just how crazy this is. Straight up ruins. I don't know, I'm just really amazed by this place. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, and we certainly haven't seen anything like it on this channel before. This is all new to us. This is kind of cool right here. Maybe this was a way to bolt the door shut so the prisoners wouldn't escape the hospital. So let's go down into this little corridor right here. This looks like it could have been an old hallway. I feel like I'm straight up adventuring where no man has gone before, and it really doesn't look like anybody comes out here. All the graffiti kids stay more towards the front of this area. They don't come in towards here. So this is just the foundation of the hospital. And Tresh actually pointed something out. If you look over in this area, you can see how there's like stuff almost carved into the wall. Walking through here reminds me of just walking through like a Jedi temple or something. Like Luke Skywalker's old abandoned Jedi temple. That's what we'll call this area right now. I like this like opening right here. Let's hop up and see what's on the other side. Oh man, more foundations. This would have held up the, the second floor or the main floor. All these pillars right here. So we got a bunch of pillars around here. These all would have held up the floor. Alright, so now we're trudging through the woods to try to find our way out of the hospital. I don't actually know how to get out of here. We got in the other direction, but I don't actually know how to get out of here. So we're all just kind of exploring our own ways and try to find an exit to the hospital. Right behind me is the actual prison where the real inmates would have stayed. They would have stayed right in here. Let's go see what's left of the prison area. Look at this crazy tunnel. Oh, oh whoa! Yep. No way. Dude, that looks like a human skull. It actually, it kind of does. But I don't think so. Honestly, I think it's a human head. Look at how- Fuck, I'm out of here! Let me out, let me out! A false alarm, that's just a piece of wood, but can you see how I thought it was a skull? That definitely looks like a burnt head right there. That's scary. Alright, so we want to continue down this tunnel, but that's all water. Stretches all the way right down there. I really don't want to walk through that. I just love the way this looks. It looks like the entrance of an old temple. tight squeeze. So these are the ruins of the old prison. So all the prisoners would have stayed right on these grounds around here. This area behind me would have actually been the yard where the prisoners would come and you know hang out and stuff. Looks like the roof of that tunnel we saw earlier is just caved in. I'll stick the camera down there and see what we can find. Now we're coming up to one of the only remaining buildings here on the property. Solitary confinement. So this is the first solitary confinement room. The winds are just whispering in here. It's creepy and there's a giant hole in the roof. People said that these rooms would get so unbearably hot in the summer and in the winter. I couldn't imagine being cooped up here in the hot summer. Let's go inside, second entryway. Man, these rooms are small. Must have have to have been pretty bad to be locked up in here. It's crazy. 
This is even the lock for the door. Imagine just a big steel door right here to lock you in. Be crazy. Here's what the side of this place looks like. Straight up, just looks like some old ruins. This is the darkest one. This is the only room left intact. Oh boy, that's creepy. Yeah, you can really feel the heat in this one. Like I was saying, these places would get so hot in the summer. You can really feel it when standing in here. Damn. Just such a tiny room. Only a little bit of light coming in from right there. There's another room right here. Whoa! Whoa. That scared me. Scary looking skeleton right there. But here's one of the last rooms left to explore here. And again, the roof is just caved in. And it's all graffitied, of course, because people feel the need to ruin historical areas with the graffiti. I'll just never understand it. Again, all these rooms are pretty much just the same. Caved in roofs, lots of graffiti, and boulders on the ground. So this is the last little room here. And this is actually how all the locals get up to the top. They climb these boulders to climb up there. So let's see what the view looks like. No, good thing I have good upper body strength. <laughs> Whew. That was rough. So this is the roof of solitary confinement. These are all just holes down into the actual cells. This little hole right here would have been a vent for the prisoners. That was their only way of breathing. That's why it would get so hot in here. All right, whoa, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. It does take a lot of upper body strength. What was that, did I drop something? No, just a rock, I think. All right, we're good. Right now we're walking up to the old vegetable cellar. What this area was used for was pretty much just to sort the vegetables and stuff like that. It's pretty spooky right there. I'm interested to see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, that's so creepy. This place is so weird. Whoa! Oh my god, I thought that was straight up like a boa constrictor or something. Not that those are common in North America, but damn. That thing's creepy. It's just like a like an air duct or something or some kind of vent. This place is full of just trash and graffiti. It's so weird to think they would have just sorted vegetables in here. Now it's just abandoned. Whoa, that's creepy. I was like, I was trying to move to see if that was my shadow, but it's actually just a person. Like a spray painted person. That's definitely spooky. What other kind of weird things might we find? It sucks because I can't see a damn thing in here. I'm so blind. It's pretty much just all rubble over in this area. But the walls in here are actually really damp and wet. Probably because all, all the melted snow and rainwater just flows right into this cave. What are you doing? Did you hear that? Yeah. That's not just the echo. It sounds like there's like a whole room under us. You're right. Dirt wouldn't echo like that. Why is it why is it doing that? Like I wonder what's under here. Did we just discover some Nicolas Cage national treasure secrets? The secrets of the of the cellar? <laughs> we just found some secrets! Ah! Thank you so much for joining me as we checked out the abandoned prison camp in Rutland, Massachusetts. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe down below for more adventures. Right now we are in Rutland, Massachusetts, and behind me is the entrance. Th that's not the entrance to the abandoned prison camp. Just though. say the entrance to hell. <laughs> it's one of the buildings left over at an uh, fuck, which eventually led them to building an fuck. When they built this place, they really didn't think that fuck. That's not what I want to say. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> Aren't they called silos? Silos. It's called yeah. a silo. It's a silo, but I like. So right here through the, through the, fuck. Right now we're headed over to the caretaker's house. He's not a caretaker, what would you call him? And what is this? Did we just come across a murder scene? Damn, that's kind of weird. Probably just spray paint. Hey! What? Did Bomb. you hear someone say something? No. Yeah, they're over there. Okay, 
It's like I heard a guy's voice. This graffiti right here reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. For Fuck, I just stuttered so bad. Where's that fucking, uh. That came out like shit. Okay. Fuck, alright, ready? Holy fuck around. Dicky McFucking Doodang fucking. Oh, ah! <laughs> you get that on camera? <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Just looking down into the hospital looks so sick. It's really cool. So right now, fuck. So right fuck now. You. <laughs> this could definitely be a crime scene. Crush just noticed that this tree right here looks like it's burnt. Is that burnt or did someone spray paint it black? I can't tell. Look at this weird mysterious hole. I wonder if that tunnel was some kind of drainage system and maybe this was like a toilet. That's my only guess. Now this is actually the last. That's gross, dude. What is it? Don't touch stuff, man. You get disease. What what is that? Okay, yeah, I don't do dolls, spooky places no. Yo, you don't wanna play with that doll? No. You don't Come on. Oh you found the head? <laughs> come on, you don't wanna come back and play with the doll? No. Look at that nice little baby head right there. 